Hey people, Indrid here. I have some weak lemon drink which can only mean it's time for Age of Wonders Planetfall. It's been a while as it often is for me. My plan this time was to build a new PC before I recorded another series of this so I could record it all nicely for you. But global GPU shortage for a year put an end to that. So we're back on the old fella and we'll see how it goes. It's still working. So the plan today is to do some Kiriko. Although I think the game calls them Kiriko. Kiriko or something when the lady introduces them. Which I don't like. We're going to go New Planet. This should all be set up correctly. Because I did a test recording. Yes, six players on medium to try and force some early conflict or early friendship maybe. Let's go advanced setup. I'm going to select my commander, what I made already. Here he is, Tyrannis. Games Workshop can't get me on that. Tyrannis, the Swarm Lord. So here's the Kiriko. Starting bonus of two emergent units. Emergents are a basic tier one unit, but they can evolve into another unit. To evolve into a tier two, I think. When they get to prime rank. Kind of like the Draconian Hatchlings from Age of Wonders 3. Our long term bonus is less upkeep for tier one and tier two units. So you're incentivized to get big low tier armies, I guess. In fact, it says it there. Rapid population growth and large armies. Biological units with good melee capability. I would take issue with that. I don't think they're particularly good at melee. They do have a melee starting unit, but it's not amazing. It's, it's all right. Racial abilities, swarm shields are great. And regeneration, we have bioweapons and psi weapons. For the secret tech, which for those that don't know is basically your class in this game, is Xenoplague. So this is unique in that you do not produce Xenoplague units from your colonies. You get them by infecting stuff. If you get the parasitic infection uh, status on an enemy and then kill them, you get like these parasitic infection points, which the game doesn't show you. It's done behind the scenes. But the more of those you have, the higher chance to either spawn a unit, which would be a pustule, the starting unit you can see there, or evolve the Xenoplague unit into something better. As far as I know, I've never played Xenoplague or Kiriko before, but I think you need to have researched the unit before it can evolve into it, obviously. So you don't need to produce units yourself out of colonies, but you do need to research them for them to be evolvable kind of thing. So long story short, put parasitic infection on everything we can. You can inflict it through attacks, like the pustule will have a parasitic infection attack, and I assume there's going to be a Xenoplague mod we can get that will give our own units the ability to put parasitic infection on the stuff. You can also put it on through operations, which are basically spells in this game. For our commander, I've gone basic equipment because I'm going no vice. The vice bonuses are pretty good, but the downsides are pretty bad, and it gives other players another excuse not to like you. So I'm going to try a no vice game here. We're going for veteran to start at level 3. I think this used to start at level 4, didn't it? And combat experience, which is amazing. All units gain faster experience for all the game. It's great. And military detachment for a larger starting army. It's been a while. I don't know if I've played since I recorded the last series. Was that even this year? So I'm going to be rusty is what I'm saying. We're going to be on extreme difficulty though. And I'll just select the commanders here to make sure there's no duplicates. We're going to have a Vanguard Promethean. Hoi Jiang. Don't think I said that right. Cyneric Ikor. Heritor Oathbound. That's a really strong combo, I think. Maybe we'll try and be friends with her. We've got... We don't want another Kiriko. So let's get a Shakan. Sign number. What about that? It's Keska Lies. Lise? Something. They look cool, the Shakan, don't they? I need to do a Shakan game. Two more. Vanguard Synthesis. Do we have we have a Vanguard already, don't we? Wasn't the first fellow Vanguard? Yes. Worst memory ever. So we'll go. Let's try an assembly. Synthesis? Assembly Celestian. That's a weird combo. Is there one? Azer Stark. I assume there's one for everything. Invalid primary color, yeah, change it. And one more. No more assembly. We need Davar or Amazons. Let's go Davar. I've never done a Davar game either. Davar synthesis, sure. Are there any other options here? Rasvet or Chirikov? I think Chirikov. Let's put you in. And this should all be fine. Yeah, I've changed this. So I must have played. 
So I've put invasion chance down to 20%, so there's a 1 in 5 chance because I was sick of 50% making them spawn every single game. I still don't know how they roll this. Is this rolled once? Is it rolled every turn after a certain point? Is it rolled every 10 turns? I've no idea. If the invasion does spawn, it's going to be hard difficulty and late. I've also turned off Doomsday. Victory. It's a good victory condition, I think, but it's just too easy to get and too quick to get. I feel like if you're min-maxing to any degree, you basically always go for Doomsday. So I've turned that off. And max hero count to 10 because I like heroes running around. World should all be default. I've put all the NPC factions enabled and the, the game will choose a random amount to put on the map based on its size, I believe, is how that will work. Hopefully we get growth or sci fish because they have biological and sci stuff. And growth have like uh, health regen mods, I think, which is cool. Maybe Therians would be good. I just don't want Autonom. I don't want machines. We had machines last time, which actually worked pretty good with the Oathbound, but not here, I don't think. Let's launch. Peace be upon you, Swarm Herald of the Unshackled Kirko. I do See? not know she said how Kirko. your insectoid emotions work, but let me say that wrath and vengeance do not lead to salvation. The empire that enthralled your kind lies pretty cool, in I think. ruins, while you have regained your freedom. Everything happens for a reason. Shape your own future and don't look back in anger. May your swarm bring light to this world. The lady seems to think that I'm going to do good on this planet. Let's see. Still love this landing animation. Is that... Paragon? No. That's the space junker guys. Isn't it? What are they called? What are these guys called again? Hmm. I have forgotten. Spacer! That's it. Says it right there, you dumbass. Okay, Spacer's alright. Let me get some biological units and stuff. Let's see... Oh, we need to level up our commander. We start with a basic rifle, repeating biochemical damage, and this thing, the Psy Stones of Dissonance, which is... I mean, it staggers, and because it's psionic, it bypasses armor, but it's like a cone, a short-range cone, which I always struggle to use because they're short-range. I think we're going to lean into ranged damage for this guy. Deadeye, range specialist, probably some vitality. Steady aim is amazing, 15% more accuracy. And... Should we just go rapid movements? Oh, Fury of the Swarm is good. Maybe we take off Deadeye and go Fury of the Swarm. Any adjacent units that have Swarm Shield get 20% more damage. Pretty good. Pretty good. Confirm. What else we got? We got Hidden. These guys are our Tier 2 snipers. Have a full action point sniper attack. And this thing, which is awesome. Shrouded step. They can teleport and then... Everything goes all smoky, obscure everything around them in smoke, making it 40% harder to hit, which is pretty damn good. And it leaves them with an action point, so they can use their snapshot or go into Overwatch. And because they have Agile Overwatch, they'll get their full Overwatch shot, I believe, even if they move first. There's the Combat XP from our Veteran. Oh, they're also Flankers, that's good. And there's the Swarm Shield, plus two shields. Transcendent, here's our support unit, Tier 2. Pretty good one. Got a heal. Always nice to see. And absorb pain. This was an ability in Age of Wonders 3 as well. I think it I think it works exactly the same way. Although there was no staggering in that. So it links to another unit. And all the damage that unit takes is instead taken by the transcendent. And it's also reduced by 35%. But if you stagger this guy, it ends. And to help him out with taking all that damage, he's got regeneration, which is good. He's also floating, which is handy. And our tier 1 melee unit is the Frenzy. They're okay. I mean, low tier melee units always have a pretty rough time in this game because they take so much damage as they try to close the distance. These guys do have 50 health and 2 armor. Also, Swarm Shield might help out with that. They stick together. They'll probably get Absorb Damage on Absorb Pain or whatever it's called as well. There's Frenzy. More damage every time they hit and attack for two turns, 10% more, that is. They're, they're pretty good. We'll try and make them work. Big old big old green claws. And here's the pustule. 
the Xenoplague unit, which will hopefully evolve into something else once we research something else. They're actually pretty good, much better than you might think from just looking at them. I mean, there's a bunch of them. 40 hit points, one shield, middling, middling, but they can skitter. 5% harder to hit for each hex they moved. And they're already a small target, so they're already harder to hit with ranged attacks. Ferocious determination, immune to negative morale effects and cannot be mind controlled, pretty damn good. And you can't flank them, all round awareness. Amphibious too, I think they're pretty good for a tier 1. Happy with those fellas. We have this second army here, there's the two emergents. They have a single action ranged attack that blinds, which is pretty good. And they can tunnel. Also, don't know if Frenzy'd have a ranged attack. Yeah, battle vomit. Single action cooldown for two turns and it makes you choke. I don't know what choking does. But it only lasts for one turn, so it's probably quite good. I think it messes up your accuracy quite a lot. And there's their repeating melee attack. And since it's a melee attack, it bypasses shields and staggers you. And here's our scout unit. Scout units in this game can be pretty good combatants with mods and stuff. These guys have a repeating melee attack, which staggers because it's melee again, and a repeating ranged gunk shot with anti-air on it. Okay, we'll probably use them to scout early on the way. Where have we started here? Particulate power plant near us for some good energy. This is a what the game calls a landmark. It's like a special building which gives you special stuff. This one will give us plus 10 energy per turn and plus 2 energy per colonist. That's working energy. Also gives us a shielding laboratory which is good plus one shield on things we make so you can see the map is to, is uh, divided up into sectors our starting colony here which I'm gonna rename we should name them after Tyranid Hive Fleets I think we're gonna call you Leviathan if I can spell it right my microphones are right in front of the freaking keyboard okay so you can see it's occupying this sector as we gain population every four population we can annex another sector, which gives us bonuses after we exploit it. You can see these icons on each sector here. They are determined by the, if you look in here, the features, which is basically terrain and climate and stuff. And they give it these bonuses. So if we were to exploit this as agriculture, it will instantly go to level three because it already has two bonus levels from these, from the forest and the fungal. That's how it works. And because it's level 3, we'll get better agriculture workers. You'll get the idea. Kind of awkward to explain, but actually very simple in working. I think we want this sector first. Because it's got a bonus food thing. And double food bonus on it. By bonus food thing, I mean an overgrown biodome. That would be a really good food start. We are going to make these guys our friends. Which will probably cost about 40 influence, I think. Can we work out where we are? Okay, we're near the top of the map. The map wraps around east to west, so there's no edge there. We're going to take one of our unleashed and go to talk to these fellas. And I expertly dodged that thing. Of course I did. We offer you protection. What kind of business? Probably kill stuff. Yep, over there. Oh, they're going to give us a melee weapon. Of course they are. I leveled my guy up already, didn't I? Balls. This is a good melee weapon as well. It's only tier 2, but look at that. You heal on hit. Feast. The Din Din. Uh, we're going to accept, accept. Did I level you? Yeah, I did. I went and bloody leveled you. So maybe our first hero can be a melee guy, eh? I'm going to pick this up. Some early food. I'm going to put my colony into auto maximum food time so we grow in two turns which is nice where did it spawn over there get some population from the shelter wait how much is it did it tell me it's probably four I think it's around 40 to 45 to get that first there's another shelter here need to find the the settlement there's always a settlement nearby from your race I think oh oh there's the dwelling for the spaces. So you can... Oh! And we have an archaeology site right near us. Damn it! I should have taken archaeology adept or whatever it's called. You are going to go this way because I see some cosmite there. Pretty nice. Cue that up so I don't forget. And you, I guess you go for the... for the kill. 
And we'll take these guys with us so that those emergents get XP. We'll get a less XP because there's more units. It gets split evenly. But uh, it should be good. And is it central biofarm? It usually is. Yeah. Get a central biofarm. These are core. Is, it, is that what they call them? Core buildings. You can only have one of these. Gives you a little bonus. You can go for the biofarm for plus 15 food. Lovely. And well, I guess we'll queue up the ability to get transcendence because I want those in all my armies probably. Yeah. This tells us about the objectives. And there's a space of dwelling. And we end the turn. I'm sure I messed up about 15 different ways already. Confirm movement for you. Yep, yep, yep. Nine on it. Okay. We have a stadium here. And a cosmite. The root lands. So we want to put our first colonizer over here. It's a really good place to put it. Oh, and there's the dwelling. Or settlement. Ways Bastion. That sounds like an oathbound place or something. I mean, I'll be friends with the oathbound. I'll be friends with them. There's another archaeology site here. Jeez. Okay. Where's the... There you are. You're going to go north. Because it should be... I don't think anything is going to spawn above us. In terms of another player. What is this yellow outline I'm seeing here? Is that another bloody player? Just when I said there wouldn't be. Well, we'll see. You are going to fight those guys. But first we'll get these fellas into range. Should be easy. Very low risk. But let's do it manually to see some stuff in action. And that. They have a flying unit. I think that's... The, is that the one that rams into you? It might be. And some pigs. Uh, are you the ramming type? No, you have lasers and a missile. 20 damage missile with high impact stagger. That's really bad because we are incentivized to blob up with Terrico a lot of the time because of swarm shield and stuff. So that kind of sucks. Uh, so we'll spread these guys out. Once, is that a once per battle thing? Yes, so once he does that we can blob up again, but first turn we've got to try and spread out a bit, I think. Hmm. We're gonna move you up to here. You to here and absorb pain on these fellas. The range is limitless, I believe, once once they have it on them, but it only lasts three turns and you don't want to get staggered. You guys can move here. Defense mode. These guys want to move as far as they can so they get the skitter. Hmm. Maybe we'll put it here, and that might that might make them do their missile there. You. I'm not going to use this thing yet, I don't think. I could do it there and obscure all this stuff. Okay, let's do it. Try to force them to do the missile there, which hopefully misses because of the obscuring. And we can agile overwatch right after. And you, probably just there and overwatch. I think that's everyone. You defend. You defend, you defend, 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 go. Here comes the missile. I think, there it is. And it's scattered, boom, it works. I love that shrouded step. Berserk chemicals, oh, we should have looked at these units because we're actually going to get these guys as space of friends. Oh, are they better than our friends, did I, I, I wonder? They got berserk chemicals. Oh, there's an overwatch attack, I like that. I like that stagger. See, the agile overwatch definitely worked because that was a full attack which staggered him. So what is up with you fellas? You've got 50 hit points, one armor. I think our friends would have two, don't they? Yes, and they, they have two shield right now. But that's just because of swarm shield. But, but that's going to be up quite a lot. 
Berserk, so Berserk Chemicals is their thing. 25% more damage and massive impact and fast movement is pretty damn good. And they have more damage by default, 14. They're not bad. Look pretty cool too. Okay. See how much we can punish these guys. You can tunnel to there and get a flanking attack, I think. This animation's really long. Come on. There we go. Why is it only 30%? Oh, because these guys have skitter as well. And they're in defense mode. And they're a small target. We'll shoot these fellas then. 48%. Got him and got the blind. Awesome. I think... Can you hit from here? Oh, I want to choking gas them. What is it called? Battle vomit. Move up once and battle vomit them. Made them both choke that snipe. And we need to get attacks with this guy because this is the guy with his infectious bite that does the parasitic infection. So we'll kill this guy hopefully and get the infection. Yeah, we've got it. And now he's dead. Good stuff. Um, you need to occupy these fellas and your pain will be absorbed. Don't worry. You are going to be open to that laser, though. Did I stagger him? Shouldn't he only have one left? Because didn't he get staggered by the sniper shot as well? Or whatever. Let's shoot this guy. And can you shoot that guy as well? Not quite. From here you can get two shots. I think that's worth. I think that is worth. Not if you miss them both, it's not. I don't think you can get close enough to do anything, buddy. No, you can't battle for me or anything. Um should we move further? No, let's play it safe. You going to tunnel so at least you'll be able to defend afterwards I guess is the thinking so you can't gunk him can you no and you can maybe get the finish 48% on three shots need to hit two of them nice Enemy destroyed. and we will end the turn it's just the pigs and that thing. We can infect the pigs, we can't infect that thing because it's mechanical. Fine. Ouch. I'm straight for my commander, of course. Uh, so let's see if we can infect 80% chance. Yes, nice. Enemy killed. I'm going to use you to heal. Hopefully just, it doesn't matter. Unlike Age of Wonders 3, it doesn't matter what actions you perform in terms of XP, just, it's just evenly spread between all the units at the end of the battle. Oops, that was right. Die. And the enemies of the hive have been defeated. Yes, they have. Nice and clean, as expected. There's that Din Din. We could sell the Din Din. But I like that production as well. And the Din Din's good, man. Let's just take it. So that increases our relations with the spaces which should make that cheaper I think oh maybe it might only be when we get into the uh, another tier of like like meanness relations that's right words are difficult we need to be at peace oh we are at peace so maybe it did reduce it a bit I need 50 more before I can get friendship did I not get 10 for what I just did? I have zero favor right now, it says. Whatever, maybe it shows up next turn, or maybe the 10 is what got us into Pierce, I don't remember. Uh, do we continue to follow the Glorious Commander for XP purposes? Probably. Although, he's going to go and do that thing. Or what we could do is stand the emergence on there with him. And if they get into a fight, just take them out. 
I like that idea. Do we go towards the northern one or the southern one? Pretty similar distances. Let's just go up here. What is this thing again? A war monument. Grants food and production. And units gain a bunch of stuff. But uh, there are defenders, including a tier 3 laser tank, so that'll have to wait. What did they call these places again? Exploration sites, okay. So you've got landmarks, exploration sites, and you would have to defeat the stuff in the landmark as well. If I wasn't just uh, taking it through kindness. Uh, let's go and see what's going on with Ways Bastion. Oh, not yet. Is that an Oathbound? That might be Amazons or something. Hmm. Research time. So where is the research that allows us to... Let's see what this is. Plus 10 health. Hyper-evolved immune system. Plus 2 resistance and ferocious determination. Immune to negative morale. It's pretty good. Plus 10 health is nice. Plague pods. Throw plague... It's like a biochemical grenade, I guess. With 3 range. High impact stagger, demolisher and infection. It's alright. We have xenografted muscles. Oh, this is how we get... Parasitic infection on our frenzied, for example. Melee attacks, 10 extra damage, and an extra level of stagger. And at the bottom there, you can see it gets 20, it gets 10% more damage. And on a Xenoplague unit, the strength is always 12. So we could put this on our pustules, and they'd have 12 repeating strength. That's pretty good to get the uh, thing. What do we want to get first? What is this stuff? Oh, this helps out our transcendence. They hit something, it becomes 20% easier to hit. And psionic buffs, which I think is what absorb pain is. Makes stuff harder to hit. That's pretty damn good. This is good, I think. Yeah, 20% accuracy buff is amazing. And plus 5 health. This is an okay melee offense thing. Cripple. I guess cripple's alright. But if you're, in, if you're in melee with something, it's probably not going to move away. Although, does cripple... Can I select this? No. Does cripple just make you move slower, or does it just literally decrease your action points kind of thing? Reduce movement, and that's pretty good. Minus 30 percent accuracy. I think we want this first. Plus 10 health. Sounds good to me. Give me that. And we'll go into Unshackling, probably, although this is really good. Yeah, we're going to that, and then into that. And here is our tier 2 Xenoplague unit, the Destroyer. Looking pretty cool. It's a bit further up the uh, research path than other secret tech units, I think. Oh, and that's regeneration. That's really good. Yeah, we've got some cool stuff. Society research. I want Doctrines first. What do we got here? Dream sharing. 25% XP for everyone. That's pretty good. And 10, 20% food on all colonies. Awesome. I want both of those, damn it. What's this? Brood cluster. Colony gains plus 50% of their food income after upkeep as production discount when producing units. Food income from food sharing is excluded. Food converted this way can never exceed 50% of... So it's a production bonus. It's quite expensive to build though. 300 production. Pretty good though. Um, do I queue this up to go for another doctrine slot? And get more... Op points. Because I do like op points. Could go this way to get another doctrine slot as well. After victories in a plague units are... Xenoplague armies heal for 5 per unit slain. This just increases the chance of the Xenoplague virus popping for 30% for each hero. Does the commander count as a hero? It must. I think we'll go down here. Cue this up. Usually I go straight for frontier facilities to get the recreational dome, but let's go down here. I want to get here. Okay, end the turn. 
Recreation domes are really good though. Okay. You. Is it time already that I get lazy and just put you on auto explore? Because I always miss pickups. Hey! We have. Cosmite pickup here. 12. That's pretty good. Pretty good roll. More spacer stuff. A Cosmite sight here. I like that. They're usually pretty well defended. We can ask them to leave though because they're spacers. So that's a good early colony place. It's got research, it's got energy and production. Yeah, I like that. That's our first. In fact, we just got four. So we can get our first uh, colonizer. But this annex first because it takes one of your population away. Um, the food place, that's right. We want this. We also need to kill those guys though. We'll, we'll get it done. It'll happen. It will happen. So let's queue up a frenzied after this, I guess. Because I don't... There's a point us getting a colonizer if we can't clear stuff, I think. So let's get that second army up and running once we get that. First hero comes turn 10. It, it, oh, it is Oathbound. Okay. We'll have some Oathbound buddies. How much are you, though? Probably 60? Yeah, 60. It's expensive. I'll take that. There's more stuff here to take as well. That is a spawner, so I need to be careful. And take them out as quick as you can. As usual, in an Age of Wonders game, you want all of the things. Which is why I want a second army up. Leviathan, you're going to have an agriculture sector down there. Some more foods over here. I'm going to burn through the ice. Our scanners have detected a faint signal of unknown origin, seemingly emerging from deep within a glacier. Okay. And you get XP per turn you're on top of these things. So we're going to take out the two frenzied and put the two emergents in. Yes. And you can probably just go back to Leviathan, actually. I don't think I needed to bring you up here, buddy. Do I just keep the emergence in this army? And try to do the fights without the uh, the frenzied. I think we can we can try it. So I want more XP. So there's probably gonna be a fight at the end of the of the chain there. You grab this. A little bit of energy, I'll have it. That guy's going north, so I want you to come back down south, buddy. Oh, we've got some growth here too. Ooh, we could make friends with the growth. You can maintain multiple NPC friendships, but it, they're not going to be happy about it, so they're going to keep asking you for stuff. But we can give them stuff. They all, they, they always ask you for something you have, I believe. Um, west or east? Let's go east. Teleporter pad. Which teleports over there? Okay. More spacer stuff as well. Leviathan has the first annexed sector, but needs to clear some things. Meet the growth. Hello. I'm going to help you as well because I like your stuff. They want me to kill things, of course they do. It's right there. Got 10 stones to do it. You get your ass back down there. You as well. So maybe we can get two transcendents for this army. Or this one, four frenzied. Hmm. There's only one turn left on him, so we'll get him. We will get him. You. Yeah, I want you to get away from that spawner, please. There's usually stuff laying around near the dwellings, I think. There's another... No, that's a settlement we've seen. Here's the growth dwelling. And I think we'll go that way. Yay, stuff. Is there more stuff? Is that a thing? What is this? 
stuff there, there's probably something on it. I think there's always one thing you can pick up near a dwelling. Free. Mimbre's view. More oathbound. Where's a freaking Kiriko settlement? Damn you all. Still two turns. This is why I love the freaking archaeology upgrade. I should have got it. I should have looked at the map first. Okay, interstellar trade convoy. Generate energy and knowledge. Convert more to income. It's okay. So if you're using the generate things, it's better, but it doesn't really make a difference to us because we're not going to do that. We are making it things. Isn't easy. Nurturing. Yay, we can get Operation our first doctrine, and I think I want the XP. It's only from combat, but... And this is really good as well, but I think I want that XP early, you know. I really like XP. Message from the spaces. You want me to research something? We'll do it. Just put it in our queue. You guys hang out here. For Frenzied, one Transcendent, and then the hero will take the last slot. We want this first. And the hero is when? Four turns. They were ready to roll immediately. Yep, you grab this. Production, I like it. And we're north, right? Yeah. I think I'm going to swing north again. I don't want to go too far south and meet someone. We'll pick up whatever's hanging around here. I mean, meeting someone who might not be that bad. It might be a friend. They might be friendly. Just keep going east over here, I think. Try not to get ganked by the spawner. Found another bronze landmark and another anomaly. And is that another one? I don't know why that is showing up in the fog of war. You guys, wait here. I can't remember what that means. Yay! While excavating a buried ziggurat, inverted ziggurat, we found a truck-sized metallic ring. Okay, got some knowledge for it. Objective completed. Oh, which instantly completed that. Awesome. Give me. Through the rupture in time, we could view a period of early exploration for the Star Union before the Cataclysm. Visual probes revealed the rift open to a rebellion of Kiriko fighting Promethean purifiers hide by the Paragon. Some here theorize that if we attack the right side, it might create a historical time echo and give us the edge. But obviously, we're going to rescue our brethren. And we'll get some free units. We've got to enter combat. Opportunity to aid our ancestors is a precious gift from our mythic queen herself. Battle begins. It's a risky battle. Uh oh. Uh, we don't have to do it now, though. Yeah, we can abort this. Leave for now and mod our stuff first, please. Do we have anything to mod you with? Uh, we have more health. I'll take that. Maybe? Uh, you. Take more health. That's all I can get. I mean, I can give these guys more health, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's not wasted because you get the cost back if you put another mod on kind of thing. Might be worth everyone just having 10 more hit points here. And resistance to stuff. I think it's I think it's worth the expenditure. I'm going for it. Can we? Yes, and we're going to get this next turn. Which will help out our transcendence. So we're going to wait for now. Kind of sucks to be waiting. I could try and take this fight, but these guys are modding up here but we'll take that fight next turn you are going to see what these guys have poking around up here I don't see anything unless something picked it up already I'm lying and there is never a f guaranteed a free thing to pick up hello it's Eliana Turkov just met but needs a friend and wants to avoid wars i will say nice to meet you let's be friends buddy i met this thing which is probably going to take this thing before me no it's not haha -ha. refurbish the black god adversary it's a tier two 
it, oh it's a vehicle it looks cool but I don't want a vehicle it says tier 2 unit but at the top it says vehicle I'm pretty sure it's something that you pilot or just get 28 research is that worth it I mean it's a turn worth of knowledge it is a turn worth of knowledge and I'm not going to have my fellow in a vehicle going to take the knowledge and then he can try and pick this up which gave us this immediately good now we can put that on now. Mantra of Clarity. And Focus Flames. Sure. And we could... Yes, hold on. We could put Focus Flames on you as well. Could put Mantra of Clarity. Gives plus one shield. Nah, no, we'll do this. That's fine. Can't put that stuff on these guys. You need psionic attacks for it. Fine. Next turn we'll we'll just do this fight next turn, I guess. Then oh, we could probably do both. Could probably do both. Message from the growth. I'm not happy that I yeah did stuff, but to get cranky enough to just ask us for something. I think. Unknown commanders complete an emissary. I meet Azer Stark. Eliana Churikov completed emissary. What's up with you, buddy? You don't like me already. Dislikes veterans. Wants to avoid wars. Show where we met. We met to the south. Okay, that could be a problem. Gonna say nice to meet you. Because it costs me nothing. And it might make it a bit more longer before they declare war. Words. Take this fight. Very low risk. Should be able to auto it, I think. Apparently not. It killed our transcendent. Can't be having that. Can't be having that. We don't have any operations yet, do we? Or do we? Can't check because they're not ready yet. Okay. Are these two emergents going to get me killed here? I don't think so. And they're all melee units. Just stand here on Overwatch. What did the hell did the AI do? What I'm going to do is this. You here. You are going to do this teleporty thing right like that. And Overwatch. You're going to absorb on the commander, I guess. Oh, I should have done it on the pustule. Pustule's going to go there. You guys are going to stay the hell back. Because you can tunnel and hit them later. We did get an overwatch shot there, a staggering one. And you got a couple of grazes. The commander, that's alright. Ouch. Oh, you have a range attack, fair enough. Operations ready. Okay, would love to shoot the crap out of these guys, but I think I need to heal my pustule here. I guess you can't infect these guys, eh? You can't infect Xenoplague units, I guess that makes sense. So let's heal you. Oh, it gives you obfuscation. Because of this? The heal counts as a... Oh, it's a Sonic Mending. That's cool. Yeah, he's got Focus Flame as well, which doesn't really help, but cool. I think we're going to go over here and stagger this guy. Maybe? Let's put him into a lot of trouble. You're going to move here. Hopefully get a roll. Yes, blinded it as well. Just want to make it so that my Parasite, I a pustule can kill it, hopefully. Nice. I'm going to put you here. Because you're blinded, so they can't do the Overwatch melee thing. And get the kill from a slightly safer position. Do you have a... Do you have a range attack every turn? Yes, you do. Okay. Try and stagger you. Why is it only 60%? Oh, they have Skitter as well. Bloody hell. Two 
two hits in the greys. I'll take it. Please, can you hit? I need that 20% accuracy thing. Beautiful. Beautiful hit. Staggered. And the burn might kill it. Five per turn, yes. But it will get a turn before the burn goes in. This is probably going to jump. Yeah, goes for a pustule though, not our emergence. You graze, which gets absorbed, and then you're burned to death. You get a full melee attack, fair enough. There's the burn. That guy's also burning. I like that a lot. Kill your ass. I think we got a clean win here. I think we got a clean win. Oh, you're skittered, so you're difficult to hit. I'll give it a go. Nope, big old miss. Nice. And you can hopefully hit both your attacks. Well done. Our forces are Beautiful. victorious. How the heck did the AI use my lose my transcendent in that? Everyone leveled as well because of my XP gains and stuff. That's great. Objective completed. Uh, I'll take regenerative dermal patches. That's a hero only thing. Which you'll get. I didn't give you the. It's gonna play parasite. Let's take it. And I've got skill points now. And I'm gonna get archaeology to adept. Echo of the hive mind. Additional plus one shield for swarm. That's pretty damn good. Um. So is dead eye. So is Deadeye. For that sweet accuracy and crit chance. Let's go for Echo of the Hive Mind first. Boom. Nice. And we should be able to make it back to here. Yes, we can. And hey, are we going to end? Yes, we're entering combat. Immediately. Low risk battle is what it says. Let's just see what the auto does for us here. Gets a bunch of stuff killed, but we did get a pustule through the. Um, Parasitic infection stuff, apparently. They were a little bit damaged. Just gotta keep those emergents the hell away from everything. Just remind me what these things do. You've got fire, I guess, have you? Got plasma bombs. Do not like that. At full range 7 as well, so you need to keep things split up. Which sucks for us, because we're incentivized to keep things close for Swarm Shield on that. You've got missiles as well. Fires are so, uh, close range, but it is nasty. You're the shooty soldier fellas with a grenade. Again, more bloody AoE. What are you? A sniper? This is bad. Okay. Do we blob up and obscure? Hmm. I think we do. Put you there. Which is a little bit dodgy. You're going to go there. You're going to go here and absorb pain on that fella. Which obfuscates you and all that good stuff. You're going to do your shrouded step. There. And then overwatch. I assume you can't shoot something now. It's better to overwatch to get the full attack. You're going to... Defender and these guys are going to stay out of trouble for now. Over there behind the wall. And you here. You should swarm shield each other, right? Yep. Yeah. Wish me luck. That guy's regenerating because he's awesome. Lovely Overwatch is there. Still gets the bloody grenade in for the stagger, though. Asshole. Graze. I'll have it. Stagger stop the absorb seen that coming and that's gonna set the ground on fire ouch I think I only hit one of my units though ouch that was rough right you can die please enemy annihilated and I think I might have to heal you as well yes and can I kill 
this flyer, please. Let's get out of the shroud. Now, if I overwatch, is it better to overwatch here? Because otherwise I'm just getting a snapshot. Still pretty good. Oh, not if you graze. I did set him on fire, though. I want you out of the flames as well, please. All right, I have this. Pop that. Free action. Doesn't seem to have a firing animation, does he? He just stands there and, <laughs> and his gun fires things out. Doesn't aim it or anything. Um, I could tunnel you out of the fire. Or well, they could just move. Can I tunnel you over here? Do you get a shot from it? It doesn't tell me. You must. That might even be a flank. So go over there. It is a flank. And we blinded it. We might be able to kill this thing this turn. If this guy can hit its shot. Uh... That would be a flank. Let's do it. I mean, I'd rather lose an emergent than my other things. Got it. Enemy annihilated. But these guys can do a lot of damage to a single unit. They might target that guy. They might target my transcendent. I do have this. Cleansing pulse. Dispels all status effects. That's pretty good. So is this do some damage and hopefully infect stuff. Got it on two of them. I'll take that. That's all the operate op points I have though. You're regenerating and burning. Which is net positive. You're fumbling. I love that. Why did you fumble? Does the parasitic infection mess up your morale? I guess it does. Oh, we got stunned over here. Fumble. Beautiful. Oh, that might have saved. That might have saved my transcendent, that fumble there. Can you get a shot on him? No. My transcendent is hurting a lot. I need to get into this guy's face. Let's see what we can do here first. Can't get the kill with any one unit, I don't think. I'll send you here. 95% of this guy. Good. And you've blinded him. Now that he's blinded, we'll try and kill this guy. You just need to flee. So I don't get this back, do I? No, once per battle. Seriously, just need to run away. So I think they can still throw... Can they throw a grenade again? I don't think they can. But well, they can! So yeah, I don't want to stay near the wall or anything. I want to just leave. Better to go behind the full cover, I guess. And then face the correct direction. Can't go into defense mode, unfortunately. You can kill this guy. Maybe you should have moved Enemy first, annihilated. but... He's dead, he's blinded, and you're going to tie up this guy. Is it better to jump on him? No. This guy's going to get a free shot, but it's probably going to be against our commander, and he should be fine. Probably. Yeah, he's got those regenerative dermal patches as well. What are you doing, buddy? Oh. Missed one, hit one. Okay. One hit two, that was bad. You're gonna get an overwatch attack. And you're probably gonna shoot my hit. Nope. Okay, you fumbled it, but really did. Let me check. You're blinded. So yeah, it does mess up your damage resistance and your morale. Awesome. Um I don't know if I don't think you should be absorbing pain. At least you're not burning anymore. Oh, you are burning. Constant burning, apparently. You're already blinded. I think we can use... 
I'm going to use you to get right here and get a terrible flanking attack. How are you in cover from me? That was balls. I thought he'd have an amazing attack from there. I guess this was cover. Crap. That really messes up. I don't think I can leap that far. So I've got to kill this guy, I think. Unless you can do it. Fifty-fifty. Well done. That was enough. Now get you out of the fire, buddy. Can't hit that guy. That guy's going to burn to death, but not before he gets a turn. I don't want him to get a turn. So... That ground has stopped burning, I think. Or I'd get a warning here, wouldn't I? Yeah, this could bring you here. Enemy Lovely, and now you're swarm shielded. You... Just going to come here for the triple swarm shield, I guess? No, it's not risky. He could move up and shoot you, I don't know. I don't know what he's going to do. And you... Can you jump? No, you can't jump that far. Go right in his face. Because you get the overwatch. And he can't move, I think. Yeah, I don't think he can move. He doesn't have a melee attack, so he can't move back. Even if I did miss. One of them was a graze, which is annoying. I think we did it. Without losses here. Burning ground. Don't do friendly fire, well done. Maybe you can get somewhere to do a shot? Guess we'll just try and get this guy to do it. Don't have any more heals. Lovely. The enemies of the hive have been defeated. Enemies of the hive have been defeated. It sounds like Gollum. We did get a pustule. Nice. I like him. And we got, we got some Ancestral Hidden. Whoa. Re this rebellion was once a sad footnote in an erased history. That commander holds within him many ancient secrets. Blah, blah, blah. Mourned and rejoiced in the future. The potential, potential of freedom lives on. But our perpetual dream of restoring the Hive Queen remains elusive. To help us remember what we've forgotten, he has given us his best soldiers as support. Get a bunch of knowledge and two Ancestral Hidden. Thank you! Leveled our commander again. And I'm gonna get Archaeology Expert. Because I love the archaeology. Basically Indiana Jones in here. Parasitic spray. This is a parasitic infection. Range 5. Chance to stun. Is it... AOE? It doesn't say it is, but spray seems to suggest it would be. Hmm. I don't know if we take it. I could get Shrouded Step. Ooh. I do like that. Not doing that link thing. I think I want Shrouded Step. Confirm. Don't have any other mods, right? No, it's, it's showing me these because I have that secondary Psy damage stuff. So what is up with you fellas? Like how are you? Oh you just have, oh you're not snipers. You just have a repeating range attack. Fair enough. You do have Shrouded Step. I like that. And Resurgence. Whoa. Well that's awesome. I think I'll take you and just leave these guys behind I guess. In what level are they now? They are expert. One more rank and they go prime. And we got that pustule, of course. Um, but I need, don't I need 20 cosmite for my colonizer? Yeah, I do. We're not building the transcendent that has stuff. I'm going to manage and get rid of this one, actually. Just to keep it cleaned up. 
<sighs> but we can just give them the mods afterwards. So, to another anomaly site, I think, since we're pretty good on us. Another settlement here. Wait, where am I unleashed now? Where are you, buddy? You're picking up this thing. I'll take it as this thing as well. I'll take it. You might die to that stack there. Which is not cool. What about you? Hey, you found nothing over here. Let's just put you on auto-explore. Apparently that's a thing you can pick up because he's going straight to it. Maybe. Um, got no active quests. Don't need to get those guys to leave. We are going to grow in two turns. I need to come down here and, and clear this stuff, don't I? And this stuff on the way. So we'll keep the emergence with us until they level, I suppose. Damn it, can't move it even a little bit. Uh, yeah, we got a transcendent in this army. I guess I could take these and put them in the hero's army, maybe. I really do want to level those emergent fellas. Okay, we are going to leave this here for the first episode. It's been a, a good start. Got some good fights. Got some levels. Got some mods on. I think it's pretty good. We, we started near the growth, although we need to keep two NPC factions happy now. I guess we could just not do quests for the spacers. There is that. We could just refuse to do quests for them. We can ask those guys to leave. We can also, I think, yeah, we can now absorb Way's Bastion. But I want to see if this is a Kiriko place. Hmm. I am going to go and ask these guys to leave, I think, because that would leave me with, with 50 something still. Yeah, we'll ask those guys to leave. Okay. For real. No more, one more turn. We are going to end this episode here. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you tune in next time to see how this develops. We have one friend. Eliana. Did he make friends with you as well? Or, oh, right, you're the one who didn't like us very much. And you're to us south, I think. Yeah, so we need to reinforce this area. Definitely get this before they do. And there's Cosmite there. Look at that. I've just noticed that. Hmm. Yeah. South it is, I think. Was there another one? Yeah, there was another anomaly here. Okay. Join me next time to see how it goes. See what this anomaly brings. See what this settlement is. And see how much stuff we can kill.